Hi, Dr. Frank Johnson from Sports Medicine Ultrasound. I'm here to demonstrate a plantar fascia injection with cortisone. Uh, in my practice, I, I tend to get away with not using a ton of uh, sterile ultrasound gel. We just don't need it. It seems that the skin disinfectant does a really, really good job of uh, conducting the ultrasound waves. So, got the clarius disinfected. And again, to control the screen of the, uh, of the, uh, the tablet, I use a disinfectant wipe to touch the screen so that I'm not breaking my sort of clean field or my select the plantar setting. Now, the depth, about 2.5 centimeters is about right. I'm going to start scanning the foot. The left hand side of the screen is going to be proximal, the right hand side is going to be distal. I'm gonna double tap the top button. I've got that programmed to go full screen. So what do we see? Well, we see down here in the bottom left, we see the calcaneus. The central portion is the plantar fascia. And we can see that it's thickened well beyond four millimeters. The upper limit of normal is four. So I'll rotate in the, sh the short axis on the plantar fascia. And once again, I'll walk you through the layers. Here's calcaneus. And then here's the plantar fascia. There is some disagreement about the safest place to put cortisone because we know cortisone undermines the health of the tissue. In this situation, we're doing it for pain relief prior to a holiday. So some people will place the needle tip onto the medial calcaneal tubercle, which is right here. Other people will place it superficial to the plantar fascia, between the plantar fascia and the, the fat pad. The argument against that is that it may risk fat atrophy which reduces the pad for the heel. And some people will scan a little more distally and place it just deep to the plantar fascia here between the underlying musculature and the plantar fascia. In this case, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the medial calcaneal tubercle. I'll then pass the needle into the target and try to get to that tubercle. There we are. And as I remove the needle, I anesthetize the needle track. In this case, I've got a 21 gauge 1.5. Place my needle like so. and inject. And there we are. That's how I do a plantar fascia injection with cortisone. For prolotherapy or PRP, I would place it directly into the plantar fascia substance itself.